Making songs using loops is easy and fun, but it can be somewhat limiting. To expand our sound writing and recording capabilities, let's take a look at using virtual instruments to build a song. Now what are virtual instruments? Wikipedia defines it like this. Virtual instrumentation is the use of customizable software and modular measurement hardware to create user-defined measurement systems called virtual instruments. In a nutshell, they are software instruments, the representation of the analog original, that you can trigger to create the desired sound using a MIDI device, such as the um, Oxygen 25 by M Audio or a similar device. There are quite a number of USB MIDI devices out there on the market, from a full 88 key piano to ultra portable ones that fit in your backpack, like the Akai LPK25. My wife, who plays mainly piano, the more keys the better. For me, I like the Oxygen 25 because I can program the different knobs and buttons on it to give me access to all the different controls on my virtual synths, as we will see in a bit. As a last primer note, Mixcraft supports VST, DirectX, and its own plug-in format. Mixcraft comes bundled with some really nice instruments. There's also plenty of virtual instruments for sale, and even some for free. Search and you shall find. So let's open a new Mixcraft project. This time we'll choose the third option, which is Build Virtual Instrument Tracks. You'll notice that the first two tracks are now labeled as Instrument Tracks. If you need to add more instrument tracks, you can right-click on the track, go to Insert New Track, and then Virtual Instrument Track. Or, you can go up to the Add Track button and Insert Virtual Instrument Track. Or finally, you can go up to the Track button, Insert Track, Virtual Instrument Track. And if you want to add more, just keep on adding them. Now these are purely virtual instrument tracks. So if we go over to our library tab and pick any sound, how about this uh, snare, say, and we drag it up anywhere in these virtual instrument tracks. Now normally we could just drop it right in. But as you can see, it drops it into track three, which is just a normal track. So tracks one and two right now are dedicated purely for instrument tracks. You'll know that in two ways. One is it says Virtual Instrument Track and this icon that looks like a little keyboard. Okay, so let's record a Virtual Instrument Track. Now we're going to use the preset piano sound that comes when you open up a new project. First thing I want to do is make sure that my metronome is on and then go up to Mix and I want to have a count in. So I want to make sure that that is armed. And arm your track. Let's double click on this track for a second. And this opens up our MIDI editor. Make that a little bit bigger. As you can see here, here are all the MIDI signals. Here's right now is our velocity. And here's a drop down menu that we'll talk about more in a minute. But if we play this, We're just hearing the virtual instrument. By clicking this icon, we can change whatever instrument we have into whatever instrument we want. So for instance, we were at an acoustic piano. Let's go to the VST instruments and go down to Lounge Lizard. Now here we have a number of presets. Right now it's set to a Rhodes. And we have Rhodes Tremolo, Phaser, a whole bunch of one. Let's go to the Rhodes Blues. Close this window. Rewind and take a listen to it now. Let's turn off the metronome so it's easier to hear. Let's change it to an organ sound. We can go down to the presets and let's go down to gospel set. 
close this window, rewind and play. So you can see it doesn't matter what we've played into it, we can choose any virtual instrument and it will play the same notes back as we played into it. Let's record a new track and this time using an organ. Go up to your icon to change instruments. We're going to go to VST instruments. Go down to the VB3 organ. And if you click this edit button, you got a lot of the same parameters that you can use on a B3 organ. Now they have a number of presets here if you click the drop down menu and we're going to go back to the gospel set. So let's track some of this. Now that is a really nice organ sound. You may have noticed down here in the lower left hand corner is you can control the speed of your rotary speaker. Now you can do this with your mouse which is difficult when you're playing or if you have a MIDI keyboard with a mod wheel on it simply move the mod wheel and you can see how it moves back and forth. All of these presets up here are really nice sounding. Let's take a look at another one. Ethel and the Kitties. Oops, let's stop the metronome. And let's check out one more. nice stuff. Okay, let's track one more virtual instrument. This time we're going to track a synthesizer. Go back up to your icon. Again, we're going to go to the VST instruments. I'm going to go to the mini Moog and click the edit button. And here I get a representation of a Moog synthesizer. Now again, in this window, I can use my MIDI keyboard if I have a bunch of knobs and buttons on it and change different parameters. Right now I'm changing the cutoff on the filter if you look in the upper kind of right hand corner here. And here's the emphasis on that same filter. Here's the sustain on the filter. Here's the velocity on the filter. Depending on how I map my MIDI keyboard, I can get any number of controls over this synthesizer. I'm going to go to my presets and now I'm going to go down to Emerson's Tarkus. If any of you are familiar with Emerson Lake and Palmer's album Tarkus, close this window, close this window. That is a great sound, although very unique. Let's go change it to something else. Go to the edit window. Let's go down to Wakeman's Journey. Let's rewind and take a listen to how it sounds now. Uh -huh. 